as a graduate student, I would say there's no such thing as a typical day. Um, but I can sort of give you an idea of how I spend my time. So I work in a dorm, so I'm an RA. So a lot of times my day begins with talking to the undergrads who live in the dorm with me and making sure that their lives are going well and that they feel like motivated to go through their classes. Um, then around 9 a.m., I will go to my lab. So I work in a lab where we have lots of robots all over. And they're very cute robots. They're very fuzzy um, and very friendly robots. So you say good morning to all of your robots. Um, and then I also say good morning to my lab mates. So our lab is quite interdisciplinary. Um, we have people who are designers. We have people who are computer scientists. We have artists. Um, and it's really great to come together in group meetings and to work through challenges and to talk about the next big project that we have. Then I'll possibly have a class after that. So sometimes I teach classes and sometimes I go to classes. Um, classes that I've taught have been about um, teaching other people how to build ways to explain AI to children. Um, classes that I've attended are about education and about psychology um, and really fun things like that, as well as machine learning, of course, because um, I definitely delve pretty deeply into there. Um, sometimes in the afternoon after my classes, I'll go and teach a class. So I get to work a lot with teachers and with students at schools. Um, the classes that I teach are quite interesting. Um, we have, just imagine, lots of robots everywhere, lots of kids everywhere, and everyone's having a great time in a very controlled chaos kind of manner. And then toward the end of the day, I like to stay involved um, in a lot of extracurricular activities. So maybe I'm at my friend's house playing music, or maybe I'm <laughs> working out in the gym. Um, and then I take a little rest and get ready for the next day. <laughs>